Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I believe we are done with the topic of solid insulation as well. Today I see if we have a little number of simple examples related to solid insulation in the book. So example number 5.1 states what that a sample of polymethyl metaacryl PMMA is an insulating material whose data is given. In example number 5.1, what does it say? Uh, uh, PMMA, the material polymethyl metaacryl. One centimeter thick having dielectric constant of 3.6. So the thickness is given is D naught is one centimeter having a dielectric constant of 3.6 uh, and a modulus of elasticity is 3.2 gigapascal. 3.2 gigapascal and is introduced in a uniform field created between two plate electrodes with a steady voltage applied. Calculate the critical field for electromechanical breakdown. So calculate the critical field for electromechanical breakdown. So the critical field for electromechanical breakdown is given by a formula 33.83 into 10 to the power 4 under the root Young's modulus upon the relative permeability volt per meter. Put down the values please 33.83 and it also asks if there is a, a possibility of electromechanical breakdown or not so 3.2 into 10 to the power 9 divide it by the factor 3.6 what does this come out to be so please check do the calculations yourself as well so 1086 this comes out to be 1086 into 10 to the power 6 volt per meter isn't it like this it is i will write it as 10086 mega volt per meter but i need it in mega volt per centimeter for instance so divide it by 100 is 100.86 mega volt per centimeter is this critical field now the intrinsic breakdown field happens to be very less which is 0.3 megavolt per centimeter. The intrinsic strength is given which is 0.3 megavolt per centimeter. So have a look if I told you that if the critical value of the electromechanical breakdown happens to be greater than the intrinsic value then there is no possibility of electromechanical breakdown the intrinsic breakdown will occur first this material is a hard material is a stiff material to so to 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 compress it to 60% of its original thickness this much of a field is required have a look this heavy amount of field is required but its intrinsic breakdown it will break down and only this much of a field so which means the intrinsic breakdown will occur first and the possibility of electromechanical breakdown is ruled out over here fine this is a stiff material in example number 5.2 we go to an insulating rubber Find the value of the critical electric field for the possibility of electromechanical breakdown under uniform field. So again the critical field for electromechanical breakdown is asked. In uniform field conditions in insulating rubber having dielectric constant of 6. So here the material is insulating rubber having what? Having a dielectric constant of 6 and modulus of elasticity 0 0.01 megapascal. 0 0.01 mega pascal the thickness of the sample is 2 centimeter between the plate electrodes so the thickness d is 2 centimeter now this d naught and d do not confuse it let this also be d this is just a thickness we do not need it in this formula so again we calculate the critical value the critical value is 33.83 into 10 to the power 3 under the root 0 0.01 10 to the power 6. Pascal is Newton per meter squared. Divide it by 6, right? So please do the calculations. This come out to be 
13.8 into 10 to the power 6 13.8 and this would be megavolt per meter i'll write it directly but i need in megavolts per centimeter so this would be 0 0.13 megavolt per centimeter the intrinsic strength over here is not given the intrinsic strength generally ranges from 0 0.1 megavolt per centimeter to 0 0.3 megavolt per centimeter in the case of insulating rubber so which means that this is lying in this range so there is a possibility so there is a possibility of what of electromechanical breakdown fine yes example 5.3 what does it states? Find the electric field and the voltage for a laboratory test uniform field conditions. So the electric field is unknown. The voltage is unknown. On a given specimen of 2 cm thick neoprene rubber. So 2 cm is given thickness of, of a material by the name of neoprene rubber. What does it stay further? Having dielectric constant of 6.7 and modulus of elasticity is given. 6.7 and the modulus of elasticity is 0.01 giga Pascal. The specimen is having is held between two spring loaded electrodes that compresses it to a thickness of 1.85 centimeter. So it has been compressed to 1.85 centimeter which means this is my D now in the formula and this D is my D naught the original thickness of the specimen. So E calculating if I have got both my D naught and D so I will go back a little to the formula which I wrote as uh, as no factor of 33.83 this would be directly 2Y upon epsilon and multiply it by an ln of D naught by D. Isn't it like this just let me confirm ln of D naught by D it is like this. So please do the calculations too. Multiplied by the Young's modulus is given 0 0.01 into 10 to the power 9. Divide it by epsilon. Have a look. It's 6.7 but this is epsilon which means this is epsilon naught into epsilon r. So relative permeability multiplied by the absolute is 8.85 into 10 to the power negative 12. Ln of d naught is 2. Uh, uh, well you can calculate this centimeter into meters or if both are the same so let it be in centimeters range so 1.85 and if you do this calculation this comes out to be the electric field comes out to be 1.62 megavolt per centimeter 1.62 megavolt per centimeter now the voltage required for this so voltage would be electric field by D as is equal to VD right so e is 1.62 into 10 to the power 6 and d which d would you take now so d you would take 1.85 because this is the voltage required for breakdown and breakdown occurs at that compressed thickness so this would be 1.85 and this comes out to be 875.6 kilo volt 875.6 kilo volt so this is the electric field and voltage required this is example 5.3 5.4 states what? 5.4. Example 5.4 states that if you have calculated the critical electric field for the onset of thermal instability in polystyrene. Electric field is unknown for the onset of thermal instability in material is polystyrene. When the constant rate of rise of temperature is 0 0.6 degree centigrade per second. So the rate of rise of temperature is 0 0.6 degree centigrade per second uh, along with the unit length resulting in conductivity of 10 to the power negative 10. Conductivity is 10 to the power negative 10 per meter or uh, per centimeter. Right? Yes. Okay, uh, the thermal conductivity of polystyrene is 0 0.13, the value of K is 0 0.13, the units are given, watt per meter per degree Kelvin. 
and the specific heat constant at a constant volume CV is given which is 1.3 kilojoule per kg per degree Kelvin assume a steady voltage applied with heat losses to the ambient is negligible so basically we talked about the formula which was this thing conductivity into e squared is cv dt upon dt plus k times d dx of dt upon dx so they are telling you that the heat losses to the ambient are negligible which means the heat exchange with the surrounding is negligible which means all the heat that being produced over here is only rising the temperature of the material is being absorbed the dissipated heat is zero so you can find out the electric field from here so electric field would be equal to cv is given 1.3 kilojoule so i would write it into the power 3 multiplied by the rate of rise of temperature but this is in degree c i would convert it to degree kelvin so 273.6 divide it by the conductivity have a look this is in per meter i will multiply it with 10 to the power 2 so this would become a 10 to the power negative 8 siemens per meter right so 10 to the power negative 8 and then i will take whole under root of it this would come out to be 5.96 megavolt per meter 5.96 megavolt per meter or this is equal to 5960 kilovolt per meter or this would be equal to what uh, 559.6 kilovolt per centimeter or in megavolt per centimeter divide this by 100 0 0.05 megavolt per centimeter fine yes Example number 5.5 states what? Example 5.5 states that if find the power loss per meter cube in polystyrene between two non-uniform electro two uniform field electrodes separated by a distance of four centimeter. So the power loss per unit volume we represented it by WL right the distance over here is given is 4 centimeter the voltage applied is 100 kilovolt at a frequency of 50 hertz the relative permittivity of polystyrene is 2.6 2.6 and the loss angle which is delta is 5 degrees so i told you that over here the formula is for the power loss in ac conditions this would be equal to uh, where it is epsilon omega e square tangent of delta yes so this was epsilon omega e squared and then tangent of delta so you can just find it out by yourself from here so the power loss per unit volume under this ac condition or this is that heat flux at the uh, onset of thermal instability so that heat flux at the thermal of instability would come from here so epsilon would be epsilon naught into epsilon r then omega would be 2 pi into f and then e is v by d so v is a hundred kv and d is four centimeter so this would be 0 0.04 0 0.04 yes yes and then further what do you have uh, the whole square of it and tangent of 5 degrees so please do the calculations wl this is 3950 watt per meter cube 3950 watt per meter cube this is the heat flux at onset of thermal instability is that fine till here it is and I believe uh, that is it about it. We also had some other mathematical things which I did not include. For example, in the thermal instability, we had the formula for the time taken to reach that particular point. You can study it out by the in the book. Similarly, you have something in the uh, erosion topic as well. The voltage, the uh, voltage developed across the cavity in terms of the applied voltage so 
uh, if I write that over here that is just a small voltage across cavity which is V1 in terms of the applied voltage applied voltage which is V so V1 is equal to V times D1 divided by D1 plus epsilon 2 by epsilon 1 times D2 where what does this represent this uh, uh, is let's suppose the distance D1 which is the thickness of the cavity whereas the thickness of the bulk material is given by D2 D1 is the distance of the cavity with a capacitance C1 air is entrapped inside so with a permeability epsilon naught similarly for the bulk material the distance is given is D2 capacitance is C2 and this is epsilon 2 or you can write it as epsilon 1 and V is the voltage applied where the total voltage applied is V1 plus V2 if you take this as a two capacitors so C3 if the total capacitance so this is equal to the series capacitance of C1 and C2 isn't it like this it is similarly you can have other things for me that is it about the topic of solid insulation one important thing that remains in the solid insulation is the overhead line insulators so for that i will see you in the next video we'll have a couple video discussion on that so till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers you subscribe to the channel goodbye